Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we are diving into some exciting new content coming in Season 9 and also going over what we already know is on the way so we can sharpen our knowledge and get fully prepared for the next update. In the next season of Call of Duty Mobile, we could be seeing what might be the most overpowered score streak ever introduced, the Flamenaut. This beast of a score streak equips you with a protective suit and a flamethrower with unlimited fuel. Yes, you heard that right, unlimited fuel. Both the suit and the flamethrower are lost upon death. But what makes this even crazier is that, unlike other score streaks, it doesn't require care package drop. You can deploy it immediately. The flamethrower is perfect for close to mid-range combat, and since the flame node doesn't slow you down as much as other bulky score streaks, you'll still have decent mobility while wielding it. Now, the reason I think this score streak is overpowered is because of that unlimited fuel. There's no time limit like with operator skills, meaning as long as you're alive, you can keep burning through enemies. I can already see this being super effective in modes like hardpoint, where controlling an objective is key. Imagine holding down a hardpoint with a flamethrower that never runs out. Total chaos for the opposing team. What do you guys think about the Flamenaut? Do you think it's going to be a game changer or too overpowered? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You are a mobile gamer. What if I tell you you can play your favorite PC game on your mobile? You can make that dream come true with Osun Remote. Osun is available for Windows, iPhone and Android. Even the free version comes with very powerful features. But if you go further into the paid versions, my favorite one out of them all is the game version. With this, you can play PC games on your mobile. The cool thing about this is you can customize the keyboard on your phone. You can put all the buttons just like a HUD in a mobile game. You can lay down on your bed and play it comfortably, just like how you play mobile games. It also supports up to 144 FPS. Although this is a paid version, if you enter this code, you will get a 7-day free trial. Be hurry because this is only for 200 people who watch my video. Osun also has a smart plug. One tap to wake up and shut down your computer on your phone. It makes remote access even more accessible. The smart plug is available on Amazon. You can also get up to 40% off for pro and game versions, 20% off for 2 devices and 40% off for 3 devices and more. Thanks Osun for sponsoring today's video. Tomorrow marks a special day for the Chinese version of Call of Duty Mobile with an event that could have a big impact on how players approach the game. Starting on September 20th and running until December 31st, the event is giving away free legendary blueprints for the HDR and MK9. This event is exclusive to the Chinese version, meaning Global and Garena versions won't be seeing this freebie since these blueprints are paid items in those versions. However, this event opens up the possibility that we could see something similar come to Global or Garena in the future. Fingers crossed. During the event, players can earn 888 Mission Limited cards simply by playing the game and completing tasks. As a bonus, you can log in every weekend to get a one-day experience with the legendary HDR and MK9 blueprints, which adds a nice touch to the grind. Although it might take months to collect all the rewards, you'll have the chance to pick and use these awesome legendary blueprints every weekend. It's definitely a cool way to engage players and keep them active over the long haul. Would you want to see an event like this in the global version? Let me know what you think. Let's quickly dive into one of the most intriguing legendary blueprints coming in Season 9, the RPD Libra from the next Armory series. This blueprint brings a stylized and ornate design blending elegance with a touch of fantasy. The gold and silver elements create a regal feel, while the dark blue barrel adds depth to the overall look. One of the coolest features of the RPD Libra is the decorative mechanical limbs extending from the gun's body, giving it a futuristic touch. This blueprint perfectly balances sophistication and fantasy, making it one of the standout designs of the upcoming season. What do you guys think of this one? Does it hit the mark or are you looking for something different? Let me know in the comments. Next up, let's check out the legendary Type 19. This futuristic assault rifle is all about its style and power. It features a sleek metallic design with a glossy finish that gives it a high-tech look. The illuminated accents really pop, adding to the weapon's futuristic vibe. The design showcases complex mechanical elements, giving the gun a robust yet polished feel. Its color scheme is a standout, blending shades of silver, black, and hints of blue, which complement the overall tech-driven aesthetic. The way these colors blend together makes the Type 19 look like something straight out of a sci-fi world. If you're into futuristic high-tech weapons, this might just be the blueprint for you. What are your thoughts on the Type 19? Think it'll be a game-changer this season? Let me know. Now, it's no surprise that a new zombie map is coming to Call of Duty Mobile. But while we are calling it new, it's technically not. It's just never been fully released in the game. 
I'm talking about Nakhda on Toten. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, this map is smaller compared to Shi in Onuma, with only three main areas, the starting room, the help room, and the upper floor, which is divided into two rooms. However, here's the disappointing part. According to Elite Game Leakers, we might not see this map in the next Halloween update as many had hoped. It's a real bummer, especially considering how perfect it would have been for the Halloween season. The leakers suggest that the fastest we could expect this map is 2025, which is quite a wait. I know it's pretty disappointing, especially since we could really use a change in the classic zombies mode. But we'll have to be patient and see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you think about this delay. One of the big mysteries about next season is, is still the theme. We don't have even a slight hint yet. Based on what we've seen so far, especially with the character skins like the extraterrestrial stone, Charlie's tactical human, Beatrice's positive pressure, and Rodion's the arbitrator, it feels like they might be going for another radioactive themed season. But I could be wrong because as we all know, sometimes these character skins don't necessarily match the overall theme of the season. Here's the release schedule for the upcoming Lucky Box and Strong Box in Call of Duty Mobile, specifically for the Garena version. Was N. Lucky Box, live from September 18th to October 8th. Feel in Fury, Strong Box available in the store from September 23rd to October 22nd. Please note that these dates are for the Garena version, so the timing for the global version may vary slightly. And for the final news today, Leakers on Duty celebrated their third anniversary just two days ago. Let's wish them a happy anniversary and many more successful years ahead. The Leakers on Duty team tweeted, Words can't express how grateful we are for your unwavering love and support over the past three years. To our followers, team and partners, thank you for supporting us and being part of this incredible journey. Be sure to keep following Leakers on Duty for all the latest news and leaks on your favorite games. They've expanded beyond just Call of Duty Mobile and are now covering games like Valorant Mobile and Delta Force as well. Happy anniversary to Leakers on Duty. And that's all I need to cover in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.